And we're also getting a better look tonight at the destruction in Port Aransas, where reported 40 people are unaccounted for tonight. Our Marcus Moore is live and Marcus major damage there. Yeah, there is major damage there in Port Aransas. Uh, right now, we are on Mustang Island, which is just to the east of Corpus Christi. The power is out where we are this evening, and the only cars we're really seeing out on the roadways tonight, Marie, are police cars. They've been patrolling the streets here, and we've also seen a number of utility trucks, those power crews working around the clock to restore power. This is some of the damage that we found here left behind by Hurricane Harvey. This sign snapped and left on the ground in front of a real estate company. But we spent most of our evening in Port Aransas, which is just to the north, where, as you've just mentioned, the damage is much worse. There are homes destroyed here, businesses battered, and search and rescue operations still underway. Ooh, that's your gas. The fire chief and the city manager told us this is a city of about 3,500 people, and some 300 people stayed behind. <laughs> Oh. And these are the residents who decided to stay. They wrote out the storms in their homes and are thankful to be alive. I mean, it was, it was a little scary. It was, but we, we were in a good spot. I had decided long before it hit, I was staying. Something I never really thought was going to happen. I really didn't, even up until yesterday, didn't think it would actually hit here. There is a long road to recovery here in Port Aransas. It hit. Uh, some scary moments, but we're survivors. We've gotten through this and we will live to fight another day. That was Kathy Wilson, who we were speaking with there, and she tells us she has a lot of family in North Texas, specifically in Arlington, and she wanted them to know that she is okay. And we were speaking with the city manager there in uh, uh, Port, Port Aransas, as well as the uh, fire chief. And they say that, that there have been no casualties reported in Port Aransas itself, itself and that there were only a couple of people in the city who were unaccounted for. Um, and they are just working to find out exactly where those people are. But they have searched every single building there, Marie, and they have not found anyone who has been trapped or, or injured or uh, killed in any of the debris there in Port Aransas. But as you saw in those pictures, they have a big mess to clean up. They certainly do. Marcus Moore for us tonight. Thank you so much, Marcus.